Greetings, my friends. Thank you for joining Perilous 3D for a continuation of our Subnautica series. As you can see here, I fixed the water. Somehow my settings got reverted back to low for some reason, so that explains why the water looks so shitty. But uh, let's jump into it today. I was going to do some farming uh, between episodes here offline, but I didn't have time, so I'm not going to do that during this episode, but we're going to see what kind of trouble we can get into. I got a few minutes here left on my lunch, and I'm going to make the most of it to play some Subnautica. We'll see what we can do. Okay, so here we are, back in the pod. The, the door wasn't on there for some reason, that was weird. Um, I'm compressing videos in the background, so I'm wondering if it's not playing havoc on my game and my frames. But anyway, we'll do the best we can. There's like five minutes or ten minutes left on it, so it should improve over time. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what we were up to last time, but let's see if we can figure it out and remember here. So I've got a cured peeper, and I came back with a couple of fish, I think, specifically to eat. Yeah, it looks like I'm low on water and food, so let me first take care of that, and then we're going to set out here on another adventure to cover some of the stuff from last time I found. I completed a few quests, a couple of missions, and um, I unlocked the ultra-high capacity O2 tank, amongst uh, a few other things. So I'm going to try and do some crafting, some, well, some pushing the game boundaries anyway. We're going to try and and uh, upgrade our inventory, our, 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 not armor, <laughs> I was going to say armor and weapon, but it's not really armor. It's our scuba gear, we're going to upgrade our scuba gear, that's what I'm trying to say. So, first is food, and water. Don't have any more salt, so I can't make the salted variety. But that's okay, because I'm going to eat it right now. Take a drink as well. These are cured, so I'm going to take those with me and see how long I can... Dehydrating, but keeps... Dehydrating, but keeps well. Oh, it's dehydrating, I gotcha. It, you lose a little bit of water, but your food goes up. Okay. I wonder if keeps well means it keeps forever, or limited amount of time. I'm not sure. I was wondering that last time as well. Let me put some crap away here. I don't need all these med kits. I'll take maybe two of them with me and a little bit of food. And I need a little bit of water as well. Looks like I'm setting out at night again, or at evening it looks like. I got a lot of containers now so it's hard to tell what's in what have to organize this better at some point. There we go. Full of water. We're going to have to pee before long. Uh, last time we ended also with the transmission. One last transmission came as I was wrapping up the video. So that's yet another quest that we have to go and do. Oh, and I also want to check out the Aurora. Now that I've got the radiation gear, I'm going to go and check out the Aurora and see what I can seize. Let's go do that now. That's probably one of the more exciting things that we'll do here. That quest is very far away. It's another life pod. I thought I had another quest, but I guess not. There was also that island that I found last time, and I discovered that you can actually get out of the water, which is very cool. And you can actually explore that little island. Hopefully that's not spoilers for you guys, but if you're playing this game, then... I'm guessing you've gotten past that point. But yeah, I'm going to make it over to the uh, Aurora here. And we'll see if I can... I don't know if you can get on, get inside of it. But I'm going to break my rule here and stay on the surface so that we can see the Aurora approaching in the distance. But yeah, I'm not sure if you can get on this bad boy or not. I imagine you can. Um, I don't know what would have really survived that kind of an explosion and for that matter I'm not even sure if my suit here is going to be able to hold up to this type of radiation it doesn't look very thick unless it's uh, lead plated or something I don't know well let's find out 
That is one big ship. That's one big moon, too. All right, here we go. I've got no radiation warning, so I'm guessing it's cool. I'm not sure. Things are very dark. I probably should have waited till the morning before coming here, but I'm just too anxious. I want to see what is up with this thing. What I can find. Whoa! I can hear the flames burning. Whoa! What happened? Oh, that was weird. I had a little bump here and it made me go underwater. Might as well scan this while I'm here. Ah, oh, I knew it. Somehow I knew that I would get attacked by those triggers. Okay, well, in that case, I'm gonna skedaddle. Wow, it's really dark. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm glad I'm not getting radiation poisoning, though. That's good. So... Am I gonna have to go in the ass end here? I don't know. Or maybe underwater? Life form readings in this region are sparse. Sparse? The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Yeah, I would imagine so. So that means that all the plant life and most of the fish are not alive here anymore. Wow, everything's rumbling. So, according to that message, it looks like I have 24 hours to contain this thing somehow. I don't even know how I'm going to do that. Or whether I have the tools necessary to do so. Um, wow, there's some big pieces of it here. Passing 100 meters. Oh, we can't see anything. Couldn't even see that thing. It was right beside me. Okay, making good progress on that thing, but that's not what I come out here to do. Came out to explore the ship. What's this? Cyclops engine fragment. Okay, that's two of those. One more and I'll unlock some type of an, a new recipe. But yeah, screw this. Uh, let's go... Can I scan this thing too? Oh, I can. There we go. Cyclops engine blueprint. I'm going to switch over to my thingamajig. I'm actually remembering to use it now. So I'm going to grab some air and then I'll dive back under. Oxygen. Or maybe I'll just try and get closer to it and see if there is an entrance. But I'm going to guess that you have to go under the water and get in probably to the bottom, through the bottom of this thing. Wow, even with the flashlight, I can't illuminate anything. This is weird. What's that ticking sound? Whoa, okay. Um ground is right there, so I'm getting all discombobulated. Can I jump up here? Oh, looks like I can, sort of. Sort of, kind of. I don't know what that ticking sound is, but I'm guessing it's something to do with radiation. I'm not seeing a whole lot here. Whoa. I'm, I'm, I'm literally not seeing a lot. <laughs> I can't see. And, yeah, I don't think, I don't know, so my gut's telling me that we're not going to be able to get in this way. It is a scuba diving game after all, so I would be surprised if a lot of the achievements are done, you know, by walking around or jumping. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be surprised. Um, and I don't see any, like, holes to this thing. I don't see any way in. So, I'm going to get back in the water. Because I have a feeling that that's what we have to do. Now that the sun's out, hopefully I'll be able to see better. Oh no, I can't see good at all. Because of all this damn dust or radiation or sediment. I don't know. At least nothing's going to kill me here. Because everything's dead. Except for me. Can I do 
do anything here? What's this? What is that? It's just a chunk of... Just a chunk of debris or something? I don't know what that is. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! That is a big creature. I'm probably... <laughs> being stupid by going near it, but oh no, it's turned around and coming towards me. That thing's hideous. I'm going to try and scan it and use the sea glide to get the hell out of there after I do, unless it comes after me. Just want to scan you, buddy. Just want to scan you. And it looks like I've already scanned it. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure I have not scanned this thing. I've, this is the first time I see it, so I don't know why I can't scan it. But I'm not going to stick around and wait for it to start attacking me, which it's doing right now! <laughs> Holy crap, it took a huge chunk out of me. Get the hell out of here. Oh, man. I was not expecting to lose that much life, but it had me in its... And it's claws there. Fuck me up good. But it looks like I could scan it. It's just you have to scan it from like... The middle or something. Something weird like that. Do I want to go back after that thing? Not really. But I am... A stubborn guy. But then again, if I think about it... I have a feeling it's still around here somewhere. But if I think about it... The scanning is not going to serve me at all if I die to this meltdown here. If I don't contain the ship, we're all going to die. So, whoa, I'm stuck. Speaking of dying, <laughs> stuck under the water here. That's not good. Come on, get to the surface. Come on, come on. Don't stop now. What the hell? I'm kind of stuck under there. Alright, back under we go. So, it looks like I can sort of get under it in certain parts. So maybe... Maybe there's a hole somewhere that I can swim into. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't see anything, though. Is there anything down here that would help? No, just fish. What's that thing? Oh, it's one of those... Those bitey guys, they're bitey. You know what I mean. What's this? Passing 100 meters. What is that? Titanium. Increased. It's a bigger node. Bigger node than what I'm used to. But I need special tools for that, so... Not gonna help. Well... I gotta say, I'm I'm a little I'm a little disappointed that I can't get on the ship, or I haven't been able to figure out how to get on the ship. Get away from me! Yeah, go eat that fish instead. I just want to scan things. Can't scan that anyway. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. I don't want to spend the whole episode screwing around with this thing either. Can I get in here? No. Can I get in here? No. Can I get in anywhere? Maybe down there. I don't know. I just don't know. Well, you know, one of my main goals is to strive to all. Wow, I went all glitchy there. Strive to always be productive with my time, and this has definitely not been productive. I'm gonna go under one last time, and if I don't find anything, I am getting the heck out of here. Because I have a feeling I'm just wasting my time right now. But I have to be certain, or at least somewhat certain. Um, nope. Nothing there. I thought maybe something was happening there, but nothing was happening. Here neither. Nope, that's <laughs> directly on the ground. 
Texas. Really? I didn't know you could do that. That's interesting. Is this the other fragment that I need? Oh no, that's right. I already have it. Passing 100 meters. Yeah, yeah. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Well, I'm gonna have to head back. That that kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Um, inventory's full on top of that. So even if I did find some goods, to be able to hold them. Yeah, that's pretty disappointing because it looks like containing this thing is pressing but I have absolutely no idea how to do so all right well yeah that's that's disappointing what was that oh med kit take that I'm gonna use it actually Alright, well, the only thing I can hope for at this point is to stay under the water on my way home and maybe stumble upon something, because we're already quickly running out of time, and I haven't really done much this episode. I'm, I'm disappointed, and I'm sure you're disappointed as well, but you're not alone. Uh, oh, disinfected water. Micro Microorganism free. Hmm. So that gives more water than the smaller bottle. It's interesting. Might as well use it if I can. Yep. And might as well eat some food. It gives more here. 32. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to eat them both. Oh, oh, no. Oh, man. No. What the hell? Oh, my God. That scared the daylights out of me. Wow, was not expecting that. If that thing wasn't so damaging to me, I would try and scan it some more, but it's not going to happen. Not today. I want to get back with my life. You get a witch, I use some more <laughs> health. Wow, that was terrifying. <laughs> I should have just went after this uh, life pod here and finished another quest. But, we're committed now, so... Back through the kelp forest I go. That was not the kind of discovery I wanted to make. Some asshole fish trying to eat my insides. What? What? Man, they're just... They're loving me today. I don't know what it is. I'm just trying to get some air. Some air. Blow your breath on me, brain creature. That sounded so wrong. Okay, well, doesn't look like I'm gonna find much, and I'm I'm home now. So, we have time to go after that quest. I think we do. I think we do have time to actually do something productive here. So I'm good on. I'm actually good on everything. I'm gonna grab. Um, a message for me. Nope. I'm gonna grab this, and can I put some stuff away? Yes, I can. Wow, that's a lot of titanium. I tried to convert some into uh, ingots here, but I don't want to convert too much, because I might need to use the actual titanium, which is something I mentioned last time. It's always good to keep things in their raw form, if you can. So, um, I think I'm gonna make one more ingot just to free up some space. I'll dump off what I've got, and yeah, I might as well make another locker. Jeez, I'm going to have like 20 lockers by the time this is done. But I think we should have enough time to head out. Oh, look at that. Might as well make it. I don't, don't, I don't know that I'll use it, but I will make it just to have and get rid of some titanium. There we go. And now, wow, okay, that made, <laughs> I didn't realize it made multiple pipes. Okay, it makes five pipes every time. 
Okay, I guess I'm down on titanium now. I went from being super uh, loaded with titanium to being almost fresh out. So, ah, crap. I'm out of juice as well, aren't I? 12%, 41%, shit. I'm gonna have to really hurry here. Need two batteries. Where the hell are my batteries? Components? It obviously makes sense for them to be in here. Okay, here we go. I don't know if I have to come back in for this or not, but... You hit R is what I discovered last time, and then you can load it up. So that's powered up. And I should probably wait until they die completely. I don't know why I'm even doing this right now. I just want to be at full capacity. You know what? Actually, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use my 12% so that I don't waste it. And use a full battery whenever it dies. That's that's the better way of doing it, I think. So that's what we're going to do. Pop back in the water. Use my trusty sea glide. And I'm going to head over to this mission in the dark yet again. Carrying high priority passengers remains. Eww. Through the kelp forest. It's not the same life pod, is it? For some reason, it gives me the impression I'm going to the same one. Agrofish already trying to bite my keister. Oh no, it's not the same one. This one's at a higher elevation. Is it inside these little tree things? What is that? Oh, I remember this from last time. Yes, yes. Can I scan any of this? Yes, I can. Tree leech. So they are trees. In this, I grew cluster. I've already scanned, and I can't scan the little things. Oh, I can scan the tree mushroom, though. So it's a tree, a tree and a mushroom in one. How cool is that? So that unlocks something in my data bank. What about this stuff? Oh, crap. I'm really gonna have to hurry. I don't have much time left. This area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint Altera vehicle signatures. Altera vehicle, huh? Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna need to power up soon. You know what? That's close enough for my liking. Ah, there you go. See, it only gave me 40%, so I'm glad I did that. Let's use another one. What am I at now? What? What happened there? Did I take the battery out somehow? Oh, that battery is at 40%? Weird. Okay. Um, yeah. I had to use a full battery. I don't know how I got one battery down to 40%. What is this? What are these things? Please tell me you're nice. Please be nice. Are you friendly? Be friendly. Be me, my friend. Jelly Ray, be me, my friend. Oh, yeah, they're nice. Nice creatures. Okay, this is the life pod I'm looking for. Let's get this. Whoa. What else can we find? Can I get in this thing? On the top? Yes, yes I can. 30 seconds. Got that. 30 seconds before I die. Anything else real quick before I go back up? No, 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 no. Alright, going back up. Oxygen. Oh man. I waited too long. Shit. Uh-oh. I start blacking out. <gasps> Not fine. That was close, though. That was very close. Okay. Well, I got it. I'm pretty sure I got everything in there. So I'm going to head back. Alright. Well, I, I guess I completed one thing I set out to do. Maybe next time I go check out the Aurora, I'll go from the front instead of the back and see if there's an entrance there. It's so huge, it takes forever to go all the way around. It'll probably take more than a day. 
So that could be its own other mission again, or better yet, I'll do that before next time as to not bore you with it. But we'll start up the episode, if I do find a hole, if I do find an entrance to it, we'll start up the episode at that point. Because that'll be much more entertaining. So as the sun comes up, my friends, I will thank you very much, as always, for watching. Appreciate it when you stop by. Drop by again when we're going to continue our adventure here in the lovely world of Subnautica. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Somehow my... Whoops. Somehow my settings got... Ref Broke my fucking microphone.